Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel, we are back in the 1.16 survival realm and today we are going to be working down here a little bit. If I head down the hole and glide down, I don't really want to be taking full damage, so let's put our uh, elytra. And if I head down here, as you can see, I, it has all been dug out. I've still got a little bit more slabbing to do and I've started to uh, design some of the walls um, in here. Uh, at the moment I've came up with this design. And then the roof will start on this block here, on the top half of that block, or on that block. And then, basically, what I'm going to be doing is, there's going to be farms. The farms will be on, um, in these little sections. So each one of these um, will be replaced with glass, or whatever, showing a farm. And it probably won't be every single one, it'll probably be one in every three. So it'll probably be that one, then we miss three, then we do one, then we miss three, or something like that. I'm not too sure yet. But on the ones that don't have farms on, I'm actually going to be putting um, your guys' uh, player heads, names, and all that. So how, let me just show you how this is going to be presented. If I quickly just do that. Um, is that done? Yes. So if I quickly head up, because uh, I actually need to get food as well. Um, where can we go? This way, I'm pretty sure. Yes, perfect. So, if I quickly head up and get some food and a player head. So, um, golden carrots is there. Let's just grab a stack of them. And also, let's grab, um, valuables. I need to take that down there. And where's our, uh, player head one? There we go. So if I take these down there, um, and quickly just head over here, and back down the hole. Uh, no, actually, let's, no, yeah, let's go down and do it. I wasn't going to show you guys up here, but um, there's no point. Right, now that we're down here, let's place this down. No, that's our valuables. Um, that's player heads. Okay, so what we're going to do is I also got some of these off camera. Um, I found a wandering trader. I got some uh, smokers, observers, soul sand, lapis ore, gravel, obsidian, uh, shroom lights, melons, uh, wart planks, um, chisel stone bricks, and purple blocks. And once again, these are not full blocks. They are literally like one eighth of a block, as you can see. So these are going to be good for some decoration. They are basically the same size as a player head, um, as we can actually wear these. So that won't stack now because it's got um tags on it right so what we're gonna do is let's take a uh, jorium for example and we're gonna be getting you can choose any or you like um i'll be asking you guys to do this obviously in videos and then what will happen is um i'll have a diamond block there with your head on it and that will be so it will be probably um let's just quickly mine this so it, obviously it don't have to be a diamond block, you can choose any ore, netherite blocks um, are going to be the hardest to get. So what I basically have to do is there'll probably be a farm in this one. Obviously the corners are different because uh, um, obviously you can't have things there. So we'll probably have a farm in this one, then these are three will be um, reserved for uh, player heads. Then we'll have another farm, then another three or something like that. I'm not sure the pattern just yet. Um, but hopefully by next episode, um, the first, or not the first, the, I'll be picking a name next episode to put in the, to put in here. Um, because hopefully by next episode I should have all this room done. Um, because it's taken quite a while and it's also taken quite a lot of resources. Um, I've used about two shulkers of this already. And we still need uh, to do uh, another uh, room, another half a room. We've done half, and we still got another half to do. So it's still going to take quite a while. Let's kill all these mobs because they are spawning because it's dark in here. Um, and let's get bone blocks and basically just do what we've been doing the whole time and filling in the wall. And then I go through and do the uh, lighting afterwards. Are we out of bone blocks? Um, no, we still have some more. Right, so guys, I've spent the last five hours or so working on this room down here. If I jump down, as you can see, 
the whole floor is now slabbed over the whole walls are now uh, done and I've also put lighting these are not in no uh, certain order I just spam them um, I will put these in like a grid pattern or something soon um, but at the moment I've just left them random and the roof I don't know what I'm doing with the roof now so I've just put uh, warped stairs all the way around um, with a stone block and then I've just filled the whole ceiling in with normal stone so there's no ores or anything in the ceiling and this took me about five, four or five hours to do um, and complete which we're now ready to move a villager or not a villager a pillager down here so if we fly up here quickly I'm only going to move one down for now because I don't want to move them all down and then they die by something because um, that will be a pain so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of them down there first um, if I quickly just like do this and then break um, hmm if I break these now and then break that I should now be able to push him down uh, I think so if, is he name tagged yes he's name tagged so he won't despawn so if anything happens to him now we know it's um he's died some sort of way right let's just try and get him down the hole um let's just like uh how can we do this there we go he's slowly walking let's now block that off and push him down perfect is he gone yes has he died has he, did he die? No, okay, he hasn't died. So let's now do that. He should now walk around here. Obviously, he can't get out of this room. Um, so the only thing that can happen to him now is he can die. Um, which we're hoping he doesn't. So I'm going to do some other things around. Um, but what, like while we wait to see if he despawns, dies or something. But I actually had want to head to the shopping district because uh, some work's been done on the rocket shop. Uh, last episode I showed you the rocket shop being upgraded and in this episode we have um, we done some more to it mainly the jorium, um done most of it but let me just get there right so guys we're now in the shopping area and as you can see we've put some rockets um, on the floor using the armor stand books so it looks like uh, rockets have spilled we've also got some here we've got some on the staircases here uh, there's some all over the floor leading from the portal up to the shopping uh, up to the thingy and then if we go up here uh, We have obviously this thing stocked and then we have some uh, a Special room which I'm not going to show you how we get into it, but I'm going to quickly get into it Right, so guys we are now down here and okay, so we have three profits and What is oh my god? We, there's is that there any under that okay so no this isn't uh, full and there's also another one there um I'm just gonna put these uh, flat like that just so it's easier to get to them okay so we've got what one two three four one two three four and then near enough about five shulkers of gunpowder I need to get to collecting some paper then Right, so guys, we're just going to buy some more uh, sandstone for the base. And HVH has now started. Um, HVH being Hunter vs. Hunted. Um, so it looks like... Is this my chest? Yes, I can also put this spider head in there. Um, as we got that from a spider. So how much is spider heads worth? Um, mob heads, they're worth one point player heads. So at the moment, we've got six points in there. Um... They've got five points and five points. Okay, right. Um, yeah, I'm also, I'm gonna buy some more sandstone. We're just arranging a price because I need a lot more sandstone for my plans. Um, on the base. Um, okay. Yes, that is obviously I have to smelt that down. Right. So guys, we're just on our way back to uh our base just to get some shulkers real quick because um for both. Um, shulker box is full of um sandstone. Uh, DBTW wanted uh twelve diamonds. I'm gonna give him eighteen, but it's not including the shulkers. So all I need to do is quickly just grab uh two empty shulker boxes, 
Perfect, and just empty these out quick. I'll uh, just empty my inventory quickly. Um, so let's just ditch all the items into a chest, just so we haven't got loads of rubbish in our inventory. Um, obviously I need to keep that. I'm gonna keep a totem on us. Um, just because obviously Hunter vs Hunter has started, and we don't want to be dying. Um, and anyone could uh, attack us at any time. So we just need to be careful. Oh, it's only me and uh, DBTW online at the moment. Um, but yeah, let's quickly just head back to the shopping area. I did bring the diamonds in. I yes. Okay. So what I need to do is move the sandstone into these because we're gonna need this. Um, I've got plans for the base. Uh, like plans to extend the base upwards. Um. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna need as much sandstone as we possibly can. Right. So there's one shulker done, and there is two shulkers right so guys that is now a lot more uh, sandstone that we have uh that is probably not even going to be enough uh, to be honest but let's hope it is because let me just go back to my base and i'll show you guys the plan um or what my plans are at the moment it could change but if we head down here obviously all these pillagers i want wandering around this area so i want uh, i want them wandering around down here um, as like basically villagers, but no, uh, obviously pillagers. Is he still down here? Where is he? Okay, so he's still good. Um, yeah, yeah, like this basically. I just want him walking around here. The he will not attack us at any point in time. Um, he no longer has his crossbow, and for some weird reason, they're coded not to attack. Um, without their crossbow, so he will not, he will not attack us. Um, so he can literally just walk around here. Um and be uh, completely um, passive towards us. So I want about 15 of them down here, just as little like um, NPCs walking around, just so it feels um, a bit more like there's people down here. And then my plans is to extend this pattern upwards. Um, so we have this one, then we have a two block, then we have the glowstone uh, circle again, and then we have the ceiling. So basically I need to uh, double this up one more layer on top. Um, but to do that I'm going to need to do a lot of digging and I'm not prepared to do that just yet. For now, this room we've got is going to be perfectly fine. Um, I'm not actually going to leave these down here. So now what we want to do is start moving the pillagers down. Um, so we've got one. Actually, do I want to move this beacon first? I think I do. I want to move the beacon down um, to the actual floor. So let's quickly head up here and put these shulkers down here. Uh, just so we don't lose the sandstone because this is going to be a pain to get again. Uh, that Yeah, that is completely two shulkers of sandstone. So let's go down. And I need an ingot uh, so we can reactivate the beacon. Hmm, where is an ingot? There we go, iron ingot. Perfect. Right, so guys, I'm now down here. And basically what I want to do is literally just move this beacon uh, down to as low down as we possibly can. Um, without killing this pillager. Right, so guys, we have now moved the beacon down um, to the floor level. As you can see, I just need to put some torches on it now, just so nothing spawns, because obviously they can spawn on gold blocks. Perfect, so this now should be all completely spawn-proof. Just make sure. Yes, okay, so no mobs should be able to spawn down here at all, apart from Endermen I've noticed can teleport down here. Um, I didn't know they could actually teleport on bottom half slabs. Because these are bottom half slabs, as you can see. Um, I didn't know they could teleport on them, which is weird, but uh, something we have to deal with. If I now do that and break this block, the water should just flow straight into the uh, hole. Like so. And I need to do it again. If I do that, um, perfect. That should still flow straight down. And yes, right, so I now need to go up and get a bucket uh, so we can move the water down. I can fly. Perfect. Right, uh, let's go sleep and then get a bucket. Um, bed. Where's a bed? We don't actually have a bed. Um, okay, he just shot that off the wall. Right, so the pesky villager has got out and I'm just going to nudge him back that way. Um, it shouldn't be that hard as they don't move that much. 
Um, I don't know if that's because they don't have crossbows, but they don't have much of an AI. Um, is he down there? I'm gonna move him because I don't want to risk that, like that, something like that happening where the pillagers land on each other's heads. Um, this may now be a problem. Can they pathfind on the slabs or not? Because he seems to have stood there. I don't know if that's because I'm unloading the chunks and he's now not moving. But he seems to have not moved once since we put him there. Let's hope that they actually can pathfind on slabs and that's just them um, being a bit newbie. So let's put blocks all here. Let's also break this way. And I can now get him. Oops, I fell down. Don't want to go down there just yet. So I want to get like four to five of them down there at the moment. I don't know how many I actually have. Okay. So there's a pillager patrol. Okay, right. Um, I can actually like put all these in boats and keep these, can't I? Um, let me quickly just get a boat. There we go. So let's take go over there because I'm pretty sure if you put them in a boat, they can't actually shoot at you while you're in the boat. Where have they gone? Uh, they gone. Oh no, they're over there. Um, I'm gonna kill off all of them, but uh, one, because the others are just gonna be a pain. So if I like kill them all, uh, I don't want uh, many pillager captains. So let's just take him out. Oh no, I've got bad omen. I've got a villager. We might be about to do a raid. Um, is there any cows nearby? I don't know. Is this a village? Uh, please don't be a village. Uh, oh, it is. Oh, God. Um, well, this is bad. Because all these pillagers here, uh, count towards that raid. So, this is a bit bad. So I'm pretty sure the uh, if village pillagers are in the loaded chunks, they count towards the raid. So I've got to kill these to end the raid. But where is the actual raid? Um, is it not starting because these are here? If that is correct, that is good. Uh, let me go get a trap door because I could like get these all to scare down there because they're trying to get to this villager now that I've started a raid. So me starting a raid could have actually been good. Um, let me get a trap door. Um, trap door. That's not enough for a trap door. Uh, if I get one more, there we go. Trap door. And then I can like put it on the edge of the block. And they should just like walk down it. I think that's how it works. Um, if I like put this there. They should eventually get caught down it let's maybe break that torch oh i hit him and put that there um is that gonna work did he fall down yes he fell down okay so now we just gotta get these ones let's get some blocks and just put them there so they can't get out of that side same thing uh here and same thing there and now break that and he should do exactly the same as what that one just did and run straight that way and down that hole and then now just this one which I can do that for and get him down there as well okay so this raid starting was a good thing I guess because we have now just got all of them down there quite easily and he should now just copy the others and run straight down there perfect let's now uh, get this one down there and um, he should follow on behind them Let's break the boat. Yep, he should run straight up and go down. Perfect. Uh, we can now fill all this in. Done. So now if I jump down there, we should have them all down there. There should be six. And there are none. No, okay, there's one, two. Okay, so some di did die. They all died. Apart from two. And they do have AI. Okay, that's good to know. They do have AI on um, slabs. So they're not just going to sit down here and not move. They will actually walk around. But literally every single one of them died. Um, okay. 
That is another thing we could do though, but the problem is that we'll have to do the raids in unloaded chunks. Um because obviously th them being a uh, part of the raid. So, let's fly back up. Is there any other pillagers up here? Cuz if I'm they should now not yeah, they will still count. Okay, well that's not a problem. Um Let's just break all this now, as we can do, clear some of this up. And I'm going to do bubble columns. Okay, there's another one here. Yes, this is the one we just put in there. I'm pretty sure if we sit in this boat, he thinks he can kill us, but he can't. So he should start shooting at us. No, maybe not. Maybe not, I don't know. Right, so guys, I've just cleaned up this area a little bit. And um, I've left this here because uh, we have got more pillagers to come. Um, we ordered 15, I think, and we've only got six. Obviously, four of them died. Um, I will still pay uh, for, obviously, all 15 because they uh, did get sent here, although it was my mistake uh, when they died. But, yeah, there's nothing I can do. The only thing I can do to get more um, is maybe do a raid nearby, uh, but not in these chunks, and then, like, minecart them or send them through another portal here. Um, but he just don't seem to be actually attacking anything, and uh, not even me. So I don't know why that is. But yeah, that is the plans for the base. I want a lot of these guys, um, pa a lot of these guys once they're pacified to be just wandering around down here. Um, just so it feels a bit more uh, lively. I was gonna have villagers, but villagers are a bit annoying to have. So I thought we're not going to have villagers, we'll just have uh, these guys instead. And I'm actually going to have bubble columns, I don't know where I'm going to have them just yet. Um, so I don't know if I have to keep wasting rockets every time I want to come down here. So let's just fly up for now. But that is where I want our base to go. And here, to get in and out, we're going to have a blackstone tower. Um, like a pillager tower, but it's going to be made of complete blackstone and basalt. So, yeah, that is where our base is going to be going within the next couple of episodes. I might build that tower in the next episode. I'm not sure. But if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.